Hi, I'm Greg Brown. I'm David Ivey and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series where we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week's question is when should I use a dual leg lanyard over a single? So when you're looking at dual leg versus single leg, um, the difference is, is one kind of wise off. So you have one attachment point or two attachment points. So with that, you'll use a single when you just have one anchor point. So if you're attaching to it and you're working in the same area. Um, now you would use a double leg lanyard if you're moving from anchor point to anchor point where you need 100% tie off. Or if let's say you're climbing, some people attach them to rungs of a ladder while they're climbing up. Kind of depends on the application. Yeah, a, a lot of folks use a dual leg lanyard. Some people use uh, dual self-retracting devices. When we talk single leg versus dual leg, you're always talking about personal. So the small self-retracting lifeline housing that lays on your back uh, or the dual leg lanyard that you have up in your lanyard keepers, it's all gonna be anchorages that are within arm's reach or at least close. Uh, so like David said, uh, if you're climbing up rungs of a ladder, you'll go up a couple, clip into the next few up, go up a couple, unclip, go to the next high. Uh, the one thing is you have a, if you have anchorage that is below the D-ring on your harness, you'll want to use a leading edge lifeline. 